Hello ladies and gentlemen, just a really fast video on uh, how to install an SSL either on an add-on domain for cPanel or you may be using this uh, third party for your SSL. If that's the case, uh, pretty easy process, just takes a little bit of knowledge to get through this. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to start off from our products page in GoDaddy. We're going to go ahead and, uh, oops, excuse me, close that. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and click SSL certificates, standard SSL, or your new SSL. Could be anything, could have multiple ones. But we're going to use the green setup button here. Uh, now, you're going to want to click this blue new certificate. Uh, we'll go ahead and use that one. Now, in a normal scenario, you just pick the domain that's on your hosting account, the main domain. But if it's an add on domain, uh, that's not going to be there. So, what we need to do is provide a certificate signing request. Uh, this is actually pretty easy. What we want to do, uh, you're going to go, uh, once you're at this screen, we're going to create one. Uh, go ahead and open a new tab and go to CSR generator oops I can't spell today CSR generator dot com alright <clears throat> just a simple website it just asks you basic info uh, about <clears throat> your website what you do where you're at so we're gonna go ahead and fill this information out um, I don't even know what website I'm putting this on at this point I guess uh, I guess I'll just do another one of what I already have because now that's an add-on domain on my cPanel so maxandthrifty.com now this is actually really supposed to be your business name, so I guess you really just want to max and thrifty. Is my business name? Uh, whatever you want to put here, marketing, billing, whatever that doesn't really matter. Common name. This is actually where your domain that you're protecting needs to go. Do not put a www in here. No HTTP. Nothing like that. Just your domain.com. Whatever it is. <coughs> Generate CSR. All right, so it's going to give us this uh, page that's got a bunch of gibberish in it. If you just click anywhere in here, it'll select all of the text that's in there. We're going to go ahead, right click, do copy, and now come over here and control V, just paste that bad boy in there. Now, need to uh, keep this information handy after you submit the request. So, what I suggest is open yourself up a uh, notepad or something like that go ahead and paste that in there because this this private key here you're gonna need later on okay so set that aside for now uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click I agree to the terms and conditions and then we'll hit request certificate there we go now we're gonna get this screen it says domain ownership verify that you have control of this domain uh, as long as your domain is in your account you don't need to worry about it if your domain is not in your account you'll get further instructions on that now we're just gonna go ahead and pause this for a minute while we wait for the certificate to issue shouldn't take too long Alright, and we're back. Our SSL has issued. Now, just in case you exited out of that screen once again, you're going to get back to My Products. You're going to see your SSL there. We're going to click uh, click SSL certificates to get the drop down. I know I have two here, but this is the new one. I know because that one's expiring soon. We're going to go ahead and click Manage. 
It's going to give you this option here, download. That's what we need. We're going to go ahead and click the download button. If you're on cPanel, your server type, Apache, we're going to go ahead and select that. Uh, if you're a third-party SSL, this is going to be different for you, maybe, if you have something besides cPanel. But we're going to go ahead and download the zip file. If I open it up, we'll see that we have two files there. We have our bundle and a regular cert file uh, bolter.crt when you extract them I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on my desktop there uh, now depending on your computer you may do that a little bit differently but basically you just want to get the files out of that zip folder um, now once we have those files we're gonna go back to our cPanel uh, if you need help with that, just do a little My Products and scroll down, find your web hosting, click Manage. And do, 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 green C panel admin button. And we're in. Uh, now what we're going to do, top search bar here in cPanel, just search SSL. It'll bring up security section, SSL slash TLS. Perfect. Now what we want to do, it's going to say certificates, generate, view, upload, or delete SSL certificates. We're going to go ahead and click on that. Now, there's going to be a bunch of gibberish in here, by the way. You guys might see all these self-signed certificates. What's a self-signed certificate? It's nothing. It does nothing. <laughs> so don't worry about it if you see those. You can just ignore them. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, scroll down to this section where we can upload. We're going to click the Choose File button. I'm going to go ahead and get to my desktop. We want the regular cert file, not the bundle, but the regular cert file there. Uh, which is just going to be a string of letters and won't say GD bundle on it. Okay, so got the .crt. We're going to click upload certificate. And then go ahead and click go back after it's done that. Now we're actually going to have to go back to home again. And one more time back to SSL. And this time we're going to go install and manage SSL for your site. Manage SSL sites. And you're going to scroll down. Find where it says browse certificates. And you should see your GoDaddy certificate. You can look in this column. Anything that says self-signed is junk. So you can ignore that. So we have our actual GoDaddy certificate right there. You see it says GoDaddy. Relax and Thrifty, that's the one I just installed. We're going to go ahead and click next to that one. I'm going to click Use Certificate. It should automatically pick your domain. If it doesn't, you may need to do something about that. This is where I said you need that notepad. See how the private key field, the field isn't filled in? We've got our CRT field filled in. We've got the Certificate Authority bundle filled in. But no private key. So this is where we're going to come back to our notepad. And we're going to select, you need uh, begin and end private key. You need all of those lines with the hyphen in there. Don't forget to do those. So we're going to go ahead and copy that out. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in here. Go ahead and get rid of any spaces you have. So you should have begin private key. You should have end private key. We've got Certificate Authority Bundle filled in. Everything should be filled in. If it is, you're going to go ahead and hit Install Certificate. Alright. Now, if you've done this correctly, you'll be able to find your domain name here. There's mine. And we're going to hit certificate details and it should show your certificate that says issuer godaddy.com if you see that then you have been successful and your ssl is now installed that's it for this video thank you all for watching